The Blue Ranger and I are checking out the stream today. I love the psalm that says, For he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. There's just something calming about a freshwater stream, something calming about water flowing down around the rocks and listening to that sound. But God uh, gives us a picture of prosperity uh, that, you know, whatsoever we will do will prosper if we will be like a tree that's planted by the water. I'm standing here by several different trees that have deep roots that run right down into this water. And that's what God is talking about in our lives. When our lives run into uh, the family of God, the blood of Christ who saves us, redeems us, we become part of that family. Our prosperity is tied into that. Just as this water is tied into this stream and is bound by the tributary that it's running to. And so when I consider America, our prosperity, we've been prosperous because we obeyed God's law. We've been prosperous because uh, we turned our hearts toward Him. And now our back is turned against the Lord. And we fight against His principles and His precepts. When David was dying, old King David, he told his son, he called Solomon in and he said, Son, if you will listen to the precepts of God and hear the testimony of God, everything that your hand touches will prosper. That was his last words. And it said, then he went the way of his fathers and he died. His last words were, prosperity comes from God. It does not come from man's wisdom. It does not come from our entrepreneurship. It comes from God. It is the favor of God. America has lost the favor of God uh, on our nation because we no longer hold those truths to be valuable. What could we do as a nation whose own government has said we not only want abortion, but we want to pay for it all over the world? Well, we want to be able to have uh, abortion that can come to uh, any part of the world and say this is paid for by the American taxpayers. <laughs> what do we do? And, and how, do we ref who, how do we refute that? How do we fight that? I think the only thing we can do right now is uh, let our complaints be known to our congressmen and our senators, but then pour our hearts out before the Lord. Because, uh, I mean, it's not just an abortion issue. It's, it's everything. It's uh, all of these articles of uh, the Constitution that we call amendments that were given to us uh, by, by a government. Now we're losing those. We're losing freedom. We're losing values. And now we're finding people that are being fined for flying the American flag and uh, basketball teams and sporting events that say we will not be doing the national anthem before this event. Uh, so patriotism is now considered to be uh, sort of a, 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 a Nazism or white pride issue rather than it's just our country and we're showing respect when our veterans uh, are, are not being taken care of and, and yet from the southern border, we right now, this very moment, there are 4,300 boys and girls locked up in Texas because we let them across the border. Now we don't know what to do with them. Uh, now they're going to bring 3,000 more and put them in a convention center in Dallas. How sustainable is that? Because they've opened the door and, and yet our own people right here aren't being taken care of. Uh, we have a printing press going uh, printing money right and left and right and left and we're out of money and yet we say open the doors for people who are untested, illegal, that's fine, we want you anyway because you will be a voter someday. That's what's wrong. We've lost the favor of America and uh, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water and whatsoever we do will prosper. We've lost the favor of God. It's time that churches, it's time that preachers hold tight to the value of the favor of God rest in repentance as a nation. The favor of God rest in repentance of every individual to confess their sin uh, to the Lord. For our God reigns over this earth and we have lost his favor. And this is Bob Shelton reminding you, if you want to be a tree planted by the rivers of water, best thing you can do to find prosperity is turn your heart toward the Lord.